Part 1, Chapter 1 of Spiritual Dialogue Between the Soul, the Body, Self-Love, the Spirit, Humanity, and the Lord God. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Anne Boulay. Spiritual Dialogue Between the Soul, the Body, Self-Love, the Spirit, Humanity and the Lord God by St. Catherine of Genoa. Part 1, Chapter 1. I saw, said the saint, a soul and a body conversing with one another, and first the soul said, My body, God has created to love me and to enjoy myself. I wish, therefore, to go where I can best accomplish this design, and to have you accompany me in a friendly way, since it will be to your advantage also we will go through the world if i find anything which pleases me i will enjoy it you can do the same when you find anything which pleases you and let him do better that can the body answered though i may be obliged to do whatever pleases you yet i see that you cannot accomplish all that you wish without me therefore if we are to set forth together let us come to a perfect understanding before we start in order that we may not fall out by the way for my own part, I agree to your proposal, but let each of us be satisfied with the success of the other when he meets with anything that pleases him, for such forbearance will keep us in peace. I advise this beforehand, because I do not wish that you should deceive me, and say whenever I find something that I like, I do not wish you to linger here, for I am going elsewhere to attend to my own concerns and thus I might find myself obliged to abandon my own plans in order to follow yours. In that case, I assure you I should die, and our design would be frustrated. To prevent this, I think it would be well to take with us a third companion, some just person who has no share in our partnership, and to whom all our differences could be referred. Soul. I am well pleased with this proposal, but who shall this third person be? body let it be self-love who lives with us both he will see that i have what belongs to me and i shall enjoy with him he will do the same for you and thus both will be satisfied each in his own way soul what shall we do if we find food equally gratifying to both body let him eat who may if there is enough for both there will be no disagreement if there is not enough self-love will give to each his share but since our tastes are so different it will be most extraordinary if we should find food equally pleasing to both unless one or the other should change which is contrary to the nature of things soul by nature i am more powerful than you and therefore i have no fear of your converting me to your tastes body but this is my home where i have so many delightful things to enjoy that although you may be more powerful than i you could not possibly awaken in me the desire to be converted to yours but i being as i have said at home might more easily convert you to my tastes doing it for love and from a wish to please you for you are seeking things which you neither see taste nor understand nor do you even know where your home is soul let us try the experiment but in the first place we must make some agreement by which we may secure harmony let us take alternate weeks when it is my turn you must do whatever is pleasing to me and in like manner when yours comes i will do whatever you wish always accepting so long as i live whatever would offend our creator if i die that is if you induce me to offend him i shall then be your servant to do your bidding for in that case i shall be wholly converted to your wishes and shall take pleasure in whatever pleases you being thus united no one but god can ever interrupt our union for it will always be protected by free will and both in this world and the next we shall receive together the reward of all the good and evil that we do a like fate will be yours if i succeed in conquering you but here comes self-love you have heard the whole will you be our third party our judge and the companion of our journey self-love i consent and shall find it greatly to my advantage i shall give each of you what belongs to him for this will not injure me 
and thus I shall live on equal terms with both. But if either of you should wrong me, and deprive me of my support, I shall immediately have recourse to the other, for on no account would I be deprived of my own subsistence. Body. I am not one who would ever abandon you. Soul. Nor would I ever do so, especially as we all agree and understand that, above all things, we are to avoid offending God. Therefore, if either of us sins, the other will check the offender. Now in God's name let us go, and I, being the most worthy, will take the first week. Body. I am contented. Guide me, and do with me whatever reason directs. Self-love and I yield to you. End of part one, chapter one.